<laughs> all right all right what's going on party people this is your man grill do a nice little video here notice i didn't say the word quick um this might be the most boring video i've done to some okay not to me um i've just spent the last couple of hours maybe two all together going through getting my numbers correct and um as it says you know the real cost you know the cost of printing the real cost um i wasn't shocked by it i already understood this from years ago when you know i already understood how to figure this out but maybe many of you um don't you know maybe you know you don't realize um what it takes to calculate the actual cost of printing and um, in this basic math um it's really really simple and you know what's amazing is that people will put the information out and say something is a certain way and again as i said in my last video they won't produce any facts they won't produce any numbers they won't they just say stuff they're just saying things and nobody will say oh, okay here's let me give you an example and then even with some of the examples it's a little skewed um uh, because there's things that you're not taking an account an account of um tax deductions and all that and then the premises if the premise is trying to figure out how much you're making per hour we're not hourly workers you know um so that's another area where you're going wrong and trying to calculate what a business owner is doing per hour that's that's not really where it's at and y'all know i've talked about this before so i did a video earlier today talking about you know my son his thoughts on doing the 75 dollar order and okay and yes, I'm going to be looking at my phone and checking stuff. I know some people don't like when I do that and want me to just stay here with you and don't look here and don't look there. But look, orders come in all times of night. So for order, if I hear my phone ringing, I'm I'm going to check it. Plus, I have notaries who call me even, you know, right now it's what, 1023 at night. And I have notaries that call me that time at night, sometimes later uh, because of the time zone difference as well as first thing in the morning so i'm sorry if you don't like the fact that i may look over or check something out or seem distracted but that's me all right so with all of this stuff going on about how much it costs to print and as i said it before and me and my son was talking about the fact that you know he was like i don't see what the problem is <clears throat> and doing a $75 order because I do two or three of those. I'm I'm sitting pretty. And I'm like, yeah, you are. You know, you do two or three of those. You are sitting pretty and everything. Um, you know what? That's 225. He will make. So if he made 225 a day, and let's just say he did, you know, times 20, let's just say, you know, 20 days, that's 4,500 okay that's 4500 he's he's made yes his expenses are a lot less because he got me and you know and all of that so he'll probably you know he's gonna be helping me with paper and all of that but the cost that he has and expenses is a whole lot less so he'll be able to really bank a lot of that you know and then we'll work with the accountant to figure out his taxes and all of that so he'll be pretty much good to go so 4500 for a 26 year old to stay at home working towards saving up for a home and getting a nice size down payment i think that'll work so you take that 4500 and let's just we'll just make it an even four thousand you know um four thousand you know times 12 because that's forty eight thousand dollars so in one year he can make 48 he can earn forty eight thousand dollars potentially just bank that okay on top of what he've already has saved so doing 75 dollar order when you look at the totality of the amount that you could actually bring in yeah now of course some of you have other expenses you got your kids you got you know your spouse and all of that get it 
you know, I really get it. So that means you need to be doing more than 4,500 a month. You probably need to be hitting around six or seven grand a month. The issue is that many people don't want to put that kind of effort out there to do this. Okay. You want to sort of do a little bit of work and then get a whole lot of reward. Well, right now there are people on a lot of these forms and I hear, and I saw the comments. I looked at every single comment today. Don't necessarily remember every single one, but I looked at every single comment and a lot of them was, you know, and, you know, was saying the same thing that a lot of these forums and groups are very toxic. And then when another person pointed out and they are right, there are sometimes there's good information. But as we heard with the Facebook um, scandal thing that's been going on, um, the person testifying before somebody about it, saying that, um, you know, basically. OK, you know, basically saying that. Um, with Facebook, the more negative stuff that you look at and click on, that's what they push to you. So as much as you may want to say that, yeah, there's some good things in these forums, what do people talk about the most? They talk about a lot of the negative stuff because the people in those forums are mostly negative. They're very negative. And that's where I, and I agree with Eric Thomas, my favorite motivational speaker, um, ET, number one in the world. He, he clearly talks about it a lot, saying that average people blame other people for the, what they don't have. And that's what folk are doing. They are blaming people. Average people are constantly blaming and saying it's this person fault, that person fault, any other. But then the average person is always chasing after money and finding some kind of way to justify upcharging people on any and everything, irregardless of the industry. So. I decided to really look into this here printing thing, which I already understood and knew what the answer was, but I said, let me dig a little deeper. And I just went out and Googled um, how to calculate the cost of printing. OK, that's all I did. I just can't. I just clicked on that. How to calculate the cost of printing. Let me share my screen out with y'all. Mm -mm. So I Googled, as you see calculate well not how to calculate well calculate cost of printing paper and so i clicked on this one because it had the little formulas down here so i said okay let me click on this and see what this one's talking about it's a little bit long i'm not going to read really any of it to y'all but it tells you here here's the price here's the cost you know i mean the formula the cartridge price the cost of the cartridge based off of the, the page yield how many pages that gives so you take the cartridge price divided by the page yield and it gives you dot 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 so i'm sitting there like okay all right that's just the alarm well the bell at the salon the ring so and then the cost of the paper you know the cost of the of a single sheet of paper whatever that cost is plus that cost gives you the cost per page okay and tonight we're gonna go over this so as i kept going through i was just reading over it what is you know page yield and all of that you read that for yourself and all of that and then it came down the cost of a price of ring 500 sheets um the cost for the ring divided by the number of sheets gives you the cost so essentially you're talking about around roughly around one cents per sheet um for regular 20 stock paper okay not the fancy high quality just the regular standard okay so down here it gives you the formula so the cartridge price divided by 2,000 pages okay that's how many pages this particular printer um toner can yield plus the cost of the paper which is one cents comes out to basically five cents a sheet to print it will cost them five cents per sheet okay now depending on now where the problem comes in with most people they get low yield toner cartridges meaning they don't pump out that much now that same 89 so let me pull up my 
calculator here. So we 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 got the we got the cost. So we got the eighty nine point ninety nine divided by two thousand plus point zero one, which rounded up to five point four. Okay, I mean the fit five the zero the five cent the five cents and all that. You know what I'm trying to say. So let's go with that same eighty seven dollars. And let's just take the brother printer divided by, let's say, the 12,000 yield toner, 12,000 plus the 0 0.01. Look at there. Basically, two cents a sheet. So if you get a toner cartridge that provides you with a high yield, your cost per sheet drops dramatically. Okay? it drops now basically if it's costing you five cents per sheet to print there's something wrong in your business acclimate uh, that you are sitting up here buying paper and toner that you really shouldn't now i'm not advocating and i will not advocate for you to go get the off brand because many people and I bought off brand because somebody told me to and I was like, all right, I give it a shot. The off brand toner stuff do not work. I have never had a problem with the brother toner cartridge and that's where I stick with. OK, so let's just look at a little bit of the. Um, what you call it here, the some of the costs. All right, let me. So I'll get to that. And then this here is a thing. And I'm going to put all these links in the description, how you can actually round up just to make sure. So right now, I just bought some tonight. Boise X9 paper, copy paper. Um, right now, that's running $60.45. Um, actually, just dropped. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dropped after I done bought it. <laughs> a couple of pennies and stuff. Yeah. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, I thought it did. Okay. Nope. I thought it did. I thought it was 48 cents. Okay. My bad. So $69.45. That's how much the um the toner, the, the paper costs for this year. Right now, that's the cheapest you're going to find. The price per ream in Walmart is actually over $7. So when you time $7 times 10, that's going to be 10 reams. That's going to be 70 bucks. So it's going to cost you a, little, a few pennies more, but you know, I like to try to keep mine under 70. So I went ahead on and ordered me a case that'll be coming to the house soon. I'm pretty tight. I got enough legal paper to last me really this whole month. OK, and I got plenty of lit letter paper to last me. So my numbers are coming from here to 69.45. Then the, the paper that I just bought off of Walmart dot com, I think in store it's about almost a dollar and some change higher it's actually more be closer to it's like two dollars and something so i've been buying it from here getting three cases at a time so you're talking about you know um those three cases um thirty dollars 67 cents times three so 9201 all right so there it is 30 67 times three ninety dollars and ninety two dollars and one cents you know you order that paper pick it up from the Walmart um, free delivery because, you know, you picking it up. So that saves you time. I mean, if you just want to count the time and then you get to, to deduct the time, the, the mileage, you know. So if it was five miles for you to go there around, you know, one way. So now that's 10 miles. So you're talking about um, 0.56 cents. Oops you know um times 10 so that's five dollars and 60 cents you know that you get to write off for his mileage and everything so so you have that deduction to take so every mile that you drive conducting business you get to deduct that you know so all of this here well i'm driving this this and that distance you get to deduct those mileage you know that mileage so if you're not doing that um you need to talk to an accountant okay you really do need to talk to an accountant. So, and then the toner, 
is 236 um you take that 236 now see you if you buying toner you look for the deal you get one at 124 you get two at 236 so all that means is 236 what is that 95 divided by two round up that's why i was thinking of 48 yeah so it's eight one eighteen and forty eight cents versus one twenty four. You're talking about a six dollars some change difference, okay, or five dollars some change difference. So this is how you go about saving money, okay, on Amazon. Now, of course, people like to try to buy the the, the cheap stuff and and all of that. And I went through that, and I'm telling you, it is not worth it whatsoever you know it's not worth it um the 109 that's a different model number for for epson and um and i've actually bought this so let's just see what this here is so i've actually done this um so the 339 even divided by three so you're talking about 113 a pop and i've done that and i've actually um um not from this company but there was another company on here that i actually bought you know bought it and actually this is not saying it's up a little bit higher so um that was a 339 so uh 342 12 cents divided by three still 114 a pop so if i wanted to you know had i realized i would have i could have bought this bought me three toner cartridges so yeah my upfront cost is one four you know it's 342 but the price per toner is dropped significantly you know that that same thing go one 124 times three 372 so 342 72 so you know you're saving 30 bucks so get what i'm saying and i know this might seem a little boring to y'all but stick with me okay stick with me so and then like i said if you're trying to figure out the numbers you can round them up you got a calculator to round up your numbers and all of that so going over here um what do we got So now you're looking at the numbers, okay? So yeah, I just stick this over here. So looking at the numbers, um, and feel free to pause right here so you can really see. Um, let me make that a little more aesthetically. So people anybody that's computer programmer probably recognize this here notepad plus plus this is what i used to use a lot of times when i would do um my programming and everything testing out my code and stuff using this program here it's like notepad but it's a lot cleaner and everything so the bottom line is simply this that's the cost per page less than one cent or you round it up to one cent okay so you take this number here all right copy and um wait yet so you take this number here throw it in here round off one cent okay so if you understand basic math that's where we at all right this here one cents because even if you rounded this here up the eight anything five and more you move the next number up in front of it to the next digit so even if this was a four it would still be one cents so one cents the cost is one cents for the when you buy it it's costing you one cents for each piece of paper you're buying for the letter and the legal the toner cartridge, 12,000 page, 118.48, is costing you one cent 
per page. Okay. One cents. That's what it's costing you. Now, when you add the cost for letter paper plus the cost for the toner, it comes out to two cents per sheet. When you add the cost for the legal paper and the cost for the toner, when you print just those, the cost is two cents per sheet. Okay. Just so you can see, round up. Out here, the answer, two cents per sheet. Okay. So that means it's going to cost you two cents for every sheet of paper you print. That's what it's saying. Two cents. So you got 300 pages to print. It's 150 twice. So that 0 0.2 cents times the 300 pages, that's $6. $6 to print 150 pages. I mean, 300 pages. Six bucks. That's how much it costs. That's provided you got the same gear that I got or high yield toner cartridge, all of that kind of stuff. You got the paper, but we're going to use what I'm talking about as the baseline. So it should be costing you $6. Now, if for some reason it's costing you more than $6 to print, let me come to y'all for a sec. If it's costing you more than $6 for you to print 300 pages, then you need to look at what you're spending your money on. That's what you need to do. You need to ask yourself, what am I actually spending my money on? How much of the paper costing me? How much did the toner cost me? That's what you need to ask yourself. Okay. You need to ask yourself those questions because now there's, you have a, a, a very serious problem that is costing you, you know, um, more than, than, than two cents. So if it's costing you five cents per sheet to print, um that's a a huge problem so you're taking that 0 0.05 times 300 now you're talking about 15 dollars to print out 300 pages if it's costing you 15 dollars to print out 300 pages you are doing something drastically wrong this is where I'm talking about the business mindset. We'll come back to you for a sec. This is where I'm talking to y'all about the business mindset. That's why we have that group over there. And this is not a, a advertisement to hop in the group and everything. But if you wanted to, um, feel free. There's the information down there. But this is, and you, you don't even need to be in a group to just get your head together and like, okay, wait a minute. If it's costing Griff two cents per sheet. And the average notary is costing two cents per sheet. But it's costing me five cents or more. There's a problem. Why is it costing me five cents per sheet? You shouldn't be using color. There's no need for color. How much your toner costs? How much your paper costs? I mean, that's really where it boils down to. It's that simple. So you got to ask yourself the hard question and think about, who told you to do what? If somebody told you, oh, yeah, get this paper over here. Don't get paper that's under 20 pound weight. And you don't need to get heavier, heavier paper. That's almost like a card stock, card stock. You don't need to do that. You don't need to get the premium 90, you know, 96 percent bright and all of that. I think between 88 and 92 for is the brightness color. You're good. Anything less than 80. I think it starts looking sort of yellowish and dingy. So you don't want that. So I stick with the 20 pound weight, 90 um, too bright, the 92 percent bright or whatever they consider it, but 92 bright. OK, that's what you need to do. So now looking at this. It only costs you six dollars to print that. Now, here's the problem. Notaries are saying because the documents are more than 150 pages, you need to pay them more money. So in order to print out an additional 60 pages, meaning you had to do 30 pages. So instead of 150, it was 180. In order for you 
to print an addition to get the cost to print an additional 60 pages because you got to do it twice is just a dollar 20. now at this point how do you justify asking somebody to pay you an extra 50 to 100 dollars more just because you had to print a dollar and 20 cent worth of paper Y'all know that means that's, that's a sink in time. Let it sink in. So this question is to all of you who was in the comments, not just today, but in past. Talking about how much it costs you and all of you who are in the forums talking about this. Show me your numbers. Like I said before. If you can show me your numbers where it where you're justified in charging somebody an extra 50 to 100 dollars because you got to print 180 pages or 200 pages then i will get you a hundred i will get you a hundred dollar gift card i will you will get a hundred dollar gift card give me your email and i will email you bam show me just i mean you got to show me justification and again going back to what i said in a previous video people saying that i need to get half if you're basing if you're basing your fee off of the dollar amount here that you that it costs you to print, you putting you setting yourself up bad. Okay, you really are. So after this, I don't. I'm still waiting for somebody to give me just cause, and nobody will answer the questions. I ask, how much do you really want to get paid? How do you justify getting half of what somebody put down on a piece of paper? Oh, that's what I see. That I want half of that. I mean, that's what money hungry people do. That's what people who have an average mindset who don't understand business. Well, I, I want that. I'm well, 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 well. Okay, then what do you have to offer? Okay. And I'm not trying to be the dead horse or any other kind of dead thing, but to me, it's very important because right now these companies are really, really frustrated with notaries claiming that they need to get paid a whole lot more extra. So you can't get around doing saying I need I need more money for scam backs because now in the orders it said you understand scam backs with this real order, right? So you got to do scam backs for the price. Now they're gonna come out with something else. They're gonna come out with something. They're gonna come out. They're gonna they're gonna come out with something else. Okay. They're gonna come out with something else to get you to understand that they ain't playing with you. So you can listen to yourself or these other people and watch yourself end up not being able to do this business and you bow out. And at this point, they know who the notaries are they know i ain't one of them so they know they don't have to worry about me doing that wait until the last minute and then up charging we ain't got to worry about that griff ain't gonna do that will i ask for more money if i see it necessary and i will even explain to them why but i think many of you just don't quite understand the whole concept here of running a business you're excited at the fact that you can make this money, but you're not thinking logically of this. You're being emotional and thinking that people are coming after you and trying to set you up and trying to get over on you. Like I said, I think in the other video, if you if you out there slinging on the corner and you walk back with all the money that you made on the corner, slinging for some drug dude you're on the corner and you come back and you like yeah i want half because of how long i was out there on the street for you that's probably going to be the last time that subject is brought up out of your mouth because you're not probably going to be around the person who's running the show that's why i keep telling y'all the notary is the most important but the least powerful so you have to navigate and use your your common sense and logic 
to navigate and work with these companies to get them to understand that, okay, you're worth investing more money into. But you're not willing to do that. What you want to do is just say, because I'm a notary, because I woke up this morning with a notary stamp, pay me X amount of dollars. But you don't have that same energy for that job you really don't like. For that job that's not providing you, providing for you to the financial level that you really want. You won't walk up there and tell them that. Try it. You're not going to do it. You know better. You know better. But you're sitting here trying this mess with somebody who you don't even personally know, haven't even tried to build a relationship with them. I mean, that's the sad part. You haven't even tried to build a relationship with these companies. You're just saying, give me more money. You don't care about them. And every notary is, well, not every notary, but a lot of notaries are always talking about how much, you know, well, these companies don't care about us. Well, do we really care about them? Do we really show them the respect by doing the signings correctly, all of that, fixing errors quickly when we make a mistake? Do we really show them how much we care about what we do? And not a whole lot of us are. It's a very small percentage. So the numbers do not lie. They're there. They, they are right there for you to clearly see. Pause it. Run your own numbers. Check my math. Make sure I'm right. I went five spaces out on the decimal point, so don't come back and say, oh, well, this one, it was that, 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 and had six spaces. I know. I just dropped it down to five. Didn't want to make it out too, too long. So these are the numbers. If you don't get this, I don't know what to say. I really don't. I don't know what to say. I don't know what could ever be given or presented to you to convince you that you need to you just need to work the business now the other issue is that every a lot of i keep saying everybody and i know it's not everybody when sometimes when i'm saying everybody i'm meaning a lot every person or almost every person that's calling me or is complaining about this and everything you know um and i know y'all probably say well i ain't just gonna call you you ain't gotta call me you you, you don't trust me the information still gets to me one way or the other because there's other people who call contact me. If you're not a person who's willing to follow the process and go through the go through what you need to go through to do these signings, you probably need not to be in the business because I, I keep seeing people talking about the logistics you know i gotta go do this and go back home and and, and scan i gotta go do this and then come back home and print documents for the next sign i gotta do man that's a whole lot i don't feel like doing all of that ripping and running so i said okay well either you have a very hard job where you say a construction worker or a really hard manual labor job that's putting a toll on you as well as it could be a corporate job that's high stress and then you get this job and then, you know, this business and then you're ripping and running and you're like, I'm already tired mentally and physically from my day job as a stockbroker or a garbage man or whatever. And now I got to go ripping and running and dealing with all of this and all these uncoordinated people, sometimes un unprofessional and they can't get the documents to me on time. So that's a problem. Or you're the type of person that really you don't do a whole lot at your job. You just sort of sit back and just let everybody else do stuff around you. And you just chilling and supervising. And now you actually got to work to earn the money. And it's like, that is not something you want to do. So you have all of these factors. If you don't want, if you don't, if part of it is just what it is, you're going to have some ripping and running. But a lot of the ripping and running now is because so many notaries have been making mistakes and these companies are like, OK, we want scam backs on everything because it's just too many errors, too, too many errors and huge errors. Um, Oh, man. There was a, a order that I saw today. Um, I can't even know where it was at. 
uh, matter of fact, it was my sons, and they was talking, had all of these things, saying notaries are notarizing themselves still. <laughs> notaries are still notarizing themselves, writing their name on the documents that should be in the acknowledgement that should have the customer's name written in it, but the notary is still writing their name in there. This is a huge problem, people. And I'm asking the notary trainers, okay? Which I know they're going to monetize it and all of that. And that's fine. You monetize and do whatever you want. But y'all need to stop all this messing around and start training people properly in notarizations and take that responsibility on. Or find a way to partner with the NNA and have it as a prerequisite to even do your course. If the person hasn't done the notary essentials and the signing agent basic training, they can't even you don't even want them to take your course. But I know a lot of you don't care about that. I really think that needs to happen. I also think that the NNA should make it mandatory for the first three years that you have to take the signing agent basic, the signing agent basic course and the notary essentials every year for your first three years to get you down pat. Forget that seventy dollar mess. That $70 mess should not come to play until you've done your fourth year. And then what I think should happen is every other year. So in my fifth, my seventh, my ninth, my um, 11th year, I should do the notary essentials course. That's the way I think it should be. And I'm telling you, if we do that, if you will clear out a lot of stuff. Another thing is one person suggested do the background check first do the background check first before people start taking these courses or thinking that they're clear and they got issues and they done bought all this stuff and now what are they going to do with it so i think the background check should be done first some way to do a preliminary one to look for certain markers and if everything looks good on a preliminary the teaser one like you're getting pre-qualified for a loan then you go ahead on and do the regular you know the rest of the um, background check but there has to be something that has to change i'm, I'm sorry y'all i just can't see how we how this notary business is going to continue the way it's going nna if you're listening to me i'm telling you you're going to have to change and start requiring people that if they are in their first three years, you have to do the notary essentials and the notary basic, period. I don't care what state you're in. I don't because you're not going back and doing that training in California every year, I don't think, or North Carolina. That needs to be emphasized. Another thing, this, this constant thing of saying people need to summarize the documents when not all states allow that. We need to come clean on that and say, okay, these states allow it, these states don't, and educate people accordingly. These are real valid things that need to be done. And if we're not having that discussion about them and coming up with a formalized way, and I'm not asking that you include me on it, that's why I'm sharing and everything. You can figure it out and let whoever want to take credit for it, take credit for it. I don't care. Because what needs to happen is the people need to get better at being notaries, which will make it better for us overall. That's what needs to happen. I'm tired of seeing people come into this business and then, you know, and next thing you know, they quitting because what they thought is not what it is. Because people are lying to them. It's that simple. It's that simple. And I would even say if there's evidence of people out here doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing or saying or telling people or teaching people stuff, they need to lose their NNA certification. Not that it can stop them fully from doing loan closings, but OK, you can't be you, you misrepresenting us. With all this foolishness that you're saying, that's not the way it's supposed to be, and you're just out here making up stuff so um there really needs to be some real consequences for all of this all right i'm done i'm tired you ready to go to bed and all of that good stuff but i do appreciate you 
um kept it under an hour <laughs> i do appreciate each and every one of you um yeah i think you you should understand what the goal is or or how to price this thing now you can show me justification hundred dollar gift card is for you the first person not 15 people the first person that can sit me down and show me the numbers and show me the justification of charging somebody an extra 50 to 100 dollars just because you have to print an extra 60 pages i mean you must have some really really special ink and paper if that's the case if that if that's the case you know i don't know all right well y'all have a good one talk to y'all later peace